Hi, Antonio. My name's Daphne. I'm one of the essay correctors here at artspodcast.com. Sorry for the delay in getting this back to you, uh, but thank you for getting involved on the course, and I really hope that we can help you um, get ready for your IELTS exam. So, first two essays, here we go, about schools and kind of education, really. So, first one, many of you, some people advocate that schools have to be more entertaining. Others think their sole purpose is to educate. Which do you agree with? Many people advocate that reading with children develops. Uh, hang on a minute. What you've done, <laughs> what you've done here. Sorry, I've just spotted this. Um, you've put the reading essay with this title, and you've put your school essay with the other title. So let's just uh, let's just do this. You've written your essays onto the wrong um, bit. Okay, so hang on. That's the title for this essay. Okay, oh, that's the answer for this essay. And the schools one, we need to move that. That is for the other one, okay? There okay, go, that's right. Yeah, okay. So this is the, um, the children, the reading one. Many people advocate that reading with children develops. Uh, best develop them, develops them better, okay, and enhances their imagination. Uh, develops them better? I would say rather than develops them better, that is, there is nothing wrong with that, but develops better uh, qualities you could have in them and enhances their imagination. Well, this may be true, I believe that there are alternatives such as sports and traveling which. Uh, I would use modal verbs here, could. So I always say to students, use these verbs, could, may, or might. Rather than making a big statement, which you don't know that, you can't prove it immediately, uh, these words uh, are nicer hedging words, which means you step back a little bit from the essay. It's a nice, it's a good skill, uh, which could give young people experience and abilities that are essential, and reading can, uh, essential, and reading alone cannot provide these. Um, I, I don't think you need that. I take that out. Uh, that are essential. Or you could say and and not offered by reading alone. That doesn't mean reading on your own, but just simply by reading or solely by reading. You could tell it. This essay will analyze the issue and use examples from Harvard. Good. Okay, lovely. Very nice instruction, well done. Firstly, sitting over books. Now, we don't sit over books. You can pore over books, which you don't use it very often. Uh, the only time you use it is in that context of I'm poring over a book, I'm studying it. Um, and it may even be, no, I think that's the right spelling. Now, poring over books is a stationary, yes, and solitary activity. You could add that in there as well. If you're doing it on your own often. It's paramount that a child exercises to maintain oh, exercises, there we go, to maintain healthy and steady a healthy well, all right, healthy and steady growth. For that reason playing sports is essential. Uh, now let's say rather than repeating sport, uh, sport that say such as football and tennis is essential. Why well, not all even playing in the park? Because it doesn't have to be organized sport, does it? It's necessary. For instance, recent studies by Salwood have bestowed, I wouldn't use that, a very old fashioned word. We don't really use that anymore. I have um, stated, have um, uh, reported, something like that, explained. The youngsters who join sports lessons are known sports, you would say in English, are known to have fewer problems with early obesity or bone fragility than those who do not. Very good. Therefore, athleticism in children is crucial since it reduces the chance of health problems. Now, uh, be careful here. Link this to skills. It's really, really important. Keep going back to the question. So, your paragraph is great. I mean, you're right. To maintain healthy exercise. But we're not really talking about that. We're really talking about the different skills. So, 
instead of growth and learn how to be competitive and work as a team, which are also skills for life. So here, your argument, rather than connecting your argument to health problems, connect your argument to something to do with these skills. Okay? Uh, that's really, really important. Um, so athleticism, yes, and then don't connect it to health problems. Connect it to the skills that it develops. Do you see the problem there? Uh, secondly, although reading uh, sparks imagination, good. Real life experience matters even more because it teaches children to trial and error, good. Great example of an activity is traveling. Uh, uh, here, again, put in something about the skills they can learn. Okay? Um, and I know you're going to do that here. Um, a great example of such activity is traveling. And link that together because that's quite a short sentence. A number of surveys by World Statistics Agency showed that adolescents. Now we're talking children. Uh, so it's very much children, this essay. So youngsters. Who take trips with their families are 70% more dependent on confident and take responsibility than part. Good, excellent, that's nice because you've linked it up to the skills of being independent and confident. This is largely because the process of going somewhere requires self organization, attention, and discipline. Good, very nice power of three there. Excellent, really like that from children that makes them mature quicker regardless of presence of guardians. Good. On the contrary, reading is solely theoretical. Yes, good, really nice. That's a great paragraph. Um, and to become more so really really nice paragraph and that one does connect right back to the question so that's great so recapitulate yep uh, there are many new there are numerous activities to choose from for enhancing and building They work by enhancing and are fulfilling. Eight, maybe? A uh, child's upbringing. Now, you only get one upbringing, so the apostrophe should be there. Uh, reading is one of them, but may not good be the best kind if applied on its own. Uh, um, so you can apply reading there. Um, if not supplemented with other um, activities, okay. In the future, parenting, which you know, that includes traveling, sport. In addition to reading, will succeed. Okay, will will succeed and result in better. Okay, Antonia, really nice start there. Really, really nice essay. That's excellent. Um, just apart from that little bit there, where you just you've come away from the question. Otherwise, it's a very good essay. You've got some great vocabulary in there. Um, I really like your collocations. You've got steady growth. You've got um, work as a team. You've got some really nice, uh, down here, you had some nice uh, trial and error. You've got some lovely expressions going on in there. Um, nice grammar there as well. So it, things like it is paramount for that reason. Um, you've got uh, some nice comparisons there. Uh, you know, really, really good stuff going on in that essay. That's excellent. Uh, let's go on to your second one. So this is the one about schools. Many people would agree that the schools. So many people would argue, would agree that a school's primary goal is to educate. Nevertheless, um, nevertheless, some argue that there has to be room for fun during studying. Uh, now, because fun isn't a very high-level word, let's put in some more words in there. Fun um, and interesting and more, more interesting um, 
and stimulating challenges during studying or during study. I'm inclined to believe. Now, careful, I wouldn't incline to believe. I would just, I'd believe. Um, I think it's very difficult to take an opinion which is sort of half an opinion. Um, so you would have to say, I am inclined to believe, but it's a little bit heavy. We don't, wouldn't really say that. Your goal is to try and sound natural, as well as obviously to give me this lovely language. Um, so just go with, I believe, or I'm inclined to think you could have. Um, I, but it has to be, I am inclined. Inclined. See how it works. Uh, the educational institutions have to indeed stay entertained and then indeed needs to be in commerce. Stay entertaining to a degree. So this would explain why and provide examples. Okay, really nice introduction as well. Antonio, you write with a nice uh, style. It's very clear you're writing. Um, and I think you are, uh, yeah, so it's a good, good intro there. Firstly, it's natural for young people to seek out some form of distraction during a course of studies in order to keep focus. Good. In fact, it's proven uh, to be proven to be healthy when students get off hand during class intermissions for their general academic progress. Um, how do you mean get off hand? Mm, not sure what you mean by that. Uh, so I'm I think you mean sort of class, and we would say breaks between class. We would say that and for their general academic progress. Um, I assume you're meaning that it's important for them to have some kind of time out or get outside or have some kind of break. Um, but I don't know what you mean by get off hand there. For instance, recent surveys in the UK have, again, I wouldn't use that. Uh, shown, demonstrated, argued, proved, something like that. But children who, now because it's people, you need to have a relative clause who, are allowed to sprint along the hallways and play games in shoppers. High marks and those who are from uh, from doing so. Because, tell me why. Um, we use this great expression, let off steam. Although it's not very academic, it is quite a nice expression. So that's exactly what those children are doing. Letting off steam, you could say they're having a change of air. Yeah, break in concentration. So there's all other expressions which you could use for that exact thing. Okay, so well done. Nice, nice idea, sir. I so, okay, therefore, stricter the rules, the stricter the rules applied, the worse the academic results. Okay, good. Uh, which, so link it back to the question, which uh, would suggest that some alternative um, uh, regime, whatever, is required. So that you would change the way that the schools work. So just that uh, final sentence just kind of concludes your example. Secondly, schools stand for more than educational purpose alone. Educational purpose and exam results. So that is absolutely right, but just like gets boosted a little bit there. They frequently make, they frequently become, you wouldn't make a centre, you can become a centre of youngsters' socialisation. Children get a basic understanding of social norms, ethics, and morals through interaction with peers. For example, a number of studies by Harvard showed that children tend to get attention in uh, attention who again get to attend. Okay, I wouldn't use get to, so I say participate in school events are less noticed. Okay, are noticed to be less. So on notice should be here. Notice to be less. Physically or verbally abusive, and participant schools who do do not just type over host parties. No host parties. Okay, mm, I'm not sure if we're really talking about parties. Okay, we're in entertainment. 
Okay. I think what it really means, this question, on entertainment, I don't think it's really talking about parties. I think it's really talking about offering extracurricular activities. So offering activities such as sport or music or drama inside the school day. Uh, so I think this paragraph, you've gone a little bit off the point of the essay. Um, I, I, mean, I think that's a lovely point, but somehow link it back to something that they could do in school. So rather than in school events, um, or you could put it quickly here, such as sports, competitions, uh, music, concerts, and art shows. And it, then immediately, those are something that you could actually have in a school. And that this is this is the point of the essay that they're not just sitting doing maths all day long; they're learning other things as well. And um, so then, I think if you add that in, that will help you. And to recapitulate, it, uh, so to recapitulate, so in conclusion, education demands. Uh, enormous efforts, I wouldn't say amplified efforts, enormous efforts from both students and teachers. Hence, it is vital to provide children with ways to discharge, yeah, ways to, you wouldn't say discharge, um, ways to relax and recharge in order to increase learning outcomes. Whether, now that's whether like the sun and the rain, you want the other one, this one, other. This social or academic, and the future activities that will only multiply good, and this will uh, children's development. Okay, uh, sorry, children's. Okay, okay. Um, really nice development. Sorry, I spelled that wrong. Okay, good. Um, Antonio, well done. You've done two really, really nice essays there. Very impressed by the standards of your writing. Uh, you've got, so basically, task achievement. We've got just a couple of little issues with not quite being on point on just connecting it. Keep connecting your arguments back to the question. Keep checking your own task. Um, but the cohesion's good. So it's easy for me to follow my way through. Your, um, your paragraphs are nicely structured, so no problems with that. And the grammars looks good, and I like how you've made real effort to add in some interesting grammar structures. You've got good relative clauses. Here you've got the stricter, the worse. So all these are good things which will get you nice high marks in your exam. And very, very good vocabulary. Really great. Great start. Well done.